Hi guys, welcome to MD Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. If you are here for the very first time, please do not hesitate to subscribe to this channel because I'll be posting updates in relation to monitoring and evaluation. Now, in case you don't know who I am, my name is Coach Alexander and I've been an expert for over 10 years implementing MD in different uh, capacities. It could be developing m and systems. It could be uh, data collection, analysis, and reporting. So I have developed this expertise, and a lot of people have come to me for advice, guidance, and including coaching. And by the way, if you haven't, if you are looking for coaching, please write to me. I'll be happy to help you with that. Okay. So without wasting any time, before I answer the the question. What do you do when you don't have baseline data? I want to answer this first question. What is baseline? So a baseline survey is an activity undertaken in order to establish the situation prior to a project running. Okay, so this is the situation, guys. Before you start a project, let's say you want to reduce poverty and injustice in a certain location. The poverty levels before the commencement of that project must be known because that is going to be your starting point to trying to solve the problem. So when you do a baseline survey, you're simply trying to establish what was poverty before the project started so that you're able to monitor the change. So I've given an example here. Let's say you have a five-year project which starts this year in 2025 and is scheduled to end in 2029. And your goal is to reduce poverty to 30% by 2029. So now here's the issue. You need to know what it is this year. Because who knows? Maybe it's already at 30%. And then you're just going to be uh, implementing an intervention with a target which has already been achieved, and that would cause a lot of confusion. So it's best you find out the poverty levels in the, the current year before the project begins, then you can be monitoring the change. So it must be conducted. Now, underline this point, whether you're a project coordinator, whether you're an M&D officer, or whether you're a CEO, this is non-negotiable. A baseline survey must be conducted you must have it in your budget. You must be prepared for it because it's going to tell you, it's going to act as a benchmark. And mind you, you must also realize that this intervention is more of a research. And you know how in-depth researchers are. You need to spend a lot of time in terms of data collection, analysis, and reporting. So the data collection that is done at the baseline survey is called baseline data, okay? So the data that you generate or that you're collecting is actually baseline data. So why is baseline data important? It just goes back to the same thing. You see, when you get this baseline data, it's going to give you, when you do the analysis, it's going to generate the information that will help you make decisions. And the baseline data is also going to be, this is the most important, it's going to help you make the needed comparisons, especially when the project comes to the end. So when you have this baseline data, and then when you compare it with what you would have achieved at the end of the project, you are able to make comparisons. Another thing is baseline data helps in forecasting. Now, I want to talk about this just a little bit. You know, at uh, when, when you begin your projects, You've seen a lot of time at project proposal writing stage, you've seen a lot of times where people are going to set targets. But those targets may not be realistic targets because they've not been derived mathematically. So when you have baseline data, you can actually target realistically and you can use mathematical equations to forecast based on where you're coming from. So this is basically what it means. Baseline data can help you set targets. 
Now, what happens when you don't have the baseline data? So this question, um, you know, it's not me who's just asked it before. Others have come to me and asked me, you know, coach, my project has been running for three years now. And when I joined, there wasn't any baseline data. So this is the news I have for all of you who are facing this problem and you need to tackle it very quickly. So there are only two things I'm going to touch on. And then if you need any assistance, I'll be happy to help. Number one, it's never too late to do the baseline survey. Now, the challenge that is there is if you do the baseline survey three years later, information baseline data can be distorted because you're going to be asking the same target group questions like how was the situation in 2021 or 2022 and yet the years have already passed and they may have forgotten and that's going to uh, distort information. So that's why it's always important to have the baseline done right before the project starts. So now if, it, if you don't have the data, you just have to do the baseline. And you need to agree with your um, the, whoever you bring on board. You need to make an agreement as to whether uh, how the, the method, methodology they're going to use in order to get legit data. Another way to sort out this problem is to look at old reports. Okay, so this could be government generated reports, agency reports, central statistics office reports. So, you know, poverty is a big, big dimension. And as a nation, people are monitoring this. So you could be able to get findings on what poverty, what were the poverty levels at the baseline year. Now, another one I forgot to actually include is um, if your project has been running for quite some time, and it has been running in phases. So let's say phase one ended, then you enter phase two, and you don't have baseline for phase two. So that is even, it's very easy for you to get baseline data because all you can do is you can go back to your phase one end line survey data, okay? Underline that point, you can go back to your phase one end of project data, and the final year end of that project for phase one will now be your baseline for phase two, okay? So that's, it can be a tactical way to approach it. I'll try to talk further about these issues as time goes on, but I'm so happy that you were here with me. So if you have any questions, any words of encouragement, or like I said, if you want some coaching, please write to me at coachalexander23 at yahoo.com. Until we meet again, see you on the other side. Bye.